My name is Emma Harbottle and I'm playing Sarah Brown and Mimi. I'm Lexi Hendrickson and I'm playing the role of Adelaide. My name is Zach Nolan and I'm playing the character of Nicely Nicely. I'm Maddie Velasquez and I will be playing Sarah Brown and Mimi. My name is Lisa Bliss and I am playing General Cartwright. Uh, my name is Wyatt Hendrickson and I'm playing Sky Masterson. My name is Tim Glisson and I'm playing Arvide Abernathy. My name is Aaron Neota and I'm playing Nathan Detroit. The reason why I wanted to be involved with, in this production was because I absolutely love doing shows. It's, it's amazing to me and also the music was just was fun and upbeat and I knew this was going to be a fun show. I wanted to be involved in this production of Guys and Dolls because I have done shows previously with Creative Arts Theater and I just love what they're about and I love everyone that works together in Creative Arts Theater and Guys and Dolls was like one of the first musicals I was introduced to when I was in junior high and we did like a little skit of it and I loved it and so I've always had like Adelaide's lament stuck in my head ever since I was like 12 years old. So. Um, this is my second Creative Arts Theater production. Um, the first one I just really enjoyed myself and I really felt like I created a nice little family and I just couldn't pass up the audition. Um, but also I love the show. It was my first show in high school and it was also the first show my grandma got to see. So um, it just kind of reminds me of her and I'm just, I really want to be a part of it. I wanted to be involved in this production of Guys and Dolls because my freshman year of high school I was first introduced to it and I just completely fell in love with everything about it. And so when I saw on Facebook the audition post for this production, I realized I, I had to do it. You know, this was going to be my first musical ever and it would be a musical I totally love. You know, I know the story and that's why. Well, I fell in love with this uh, show in high school. I got the opportunity to play Sarah Brown, and I loved the music, and I loved everything about it in high school, and I knew I wanted to do it again someday, and then I saw the audition, and I just had to do it. Uh, well, I, I've done a show with Kat before, and I really love everybody that's involved in it, uh, directing, everybody um, behind the scenes and I'm in the sound booth and the directors. And then uh, also, I've, this is one of the first musicals I ever uh, saw, and I just loved it, and I'm a huge Frank Sinatra fan, so that adds to it. I wanted to be involved in this production because as much as I like edgy and new age shows, I like classic productions as well. I wanted to be in this production of Guys and Dolls because I've always loved this musical. Ever since I was a kid, my mom used to watch musicals all the time, and this was the one that stood out to me because Frank Sinatra's the man. And to be able to like step into those shoes is pretty cool. The thing that I love about the character of Sarah Brown is that she's very unapologetic of who she is. She's also is very kind as well too. What I love about the character Adelaide is that she is very outspoken. She does what she does and doesn't care what anyone says about it and she is who she is no matter what. What I love about Nicely is he's super dedicated to his friends, I feel like. Um, he gets pushed around a little, but I feel like he kind of enjoys it just because, you know, he loves being with his friends and, you know, he's just with his group all the time, so I really enjoy that about him. What I love about Sarah Brown is that she is not ashamed to be herself. She's not afraid to be who she really is, and it doesn't matter who she's with, It's she's just always willing to be herself and not care what others think about her. I like that she is bossy and she's just a lot like me. Um, what I love about him, he's so cool. He's just like a really cool guy, got a ton of money, no worries in the world. Just does whatever the heck he wants. It's awesome. What I love about Arvide is that he's completely committed to Sarah. He you can tell it, he gives her a safe place to grow up, he encourages her to grow, still wants her to get out on her own, but you're never given the backstory to that. I love how Nathan is both simultaneously on top of everything and not at the same time. The thing that I hate about Sarah Brown is that she never takes time for herself. It's always just about the mission, it's nothing else. What I dislike about Adelaide is that she can be a little obnoxious and inconsiderate sometimes, but it kind of makes it who she is, so. Uh, I guess what I could say I dislike about Nicely is 
I feel like I'm such a hopeless romantic that I feel like I like the idea of having a doll. And even Nathan says it, you know, every guy's gotta have a doll. So I feel like it kind of sucks that he doesn't have a doll on the side. I feel like it would make his character a little bit more funny to have a girl, you know, nagging at him all the time. What I just like about this character is she doesn't give any time for things to just happen. She has everything planned out and that's just how it's going to go because that's how it's planned, that's how she has it ready, and she doesn't have time for things to just happen on their own. I also dislike the character for the same reason because she's just a lot like me. So I don't get to do very much that's different, so I'll try to play around with it. Um, well, playing him is kind of hard because uh, I'm not a cool guy and I don't have, you know, nothing to worry about. I have a lot to worry about. But, <laughs> so, uh, having to portray that is, is a little difficult um, and challenging. It's fun. That we never get to learn what that backstory is. You don't know where her parents are. You don't know why he's raising her. I don't like how much he talks. Nathan talks a lot. This is probably one of the most lines I've ever had just speaking in a musical. The celebrity that I would like to see tackle this role would be Anna Kendrick. Um, who would I want to see tackle this character? I'm not sure if she's done it, but the first person that pops in my head is Kristen Chenoweth because she is hilarious and she has the perfect voice for Adelaide's character. The celebrity I would like to see tackle Nicely Nicely Johnson is Josh Gad. I think he would be really good as Nicely. I would love to see Emily Blunt play. Okay. Sarah Brown. Sounds kind of strange, but I would like to see um, a celebrity I'd like to see play this is um, Bette Midler. What celebrity would I like to see uh, tackle this? I think definitely James Marsden. I think he'd be perfect for it. He's got a great voice. Great look. I would love to see Kevin Klein play this character. That's tough because I think someone, a celebrity that could play this character uh, Nathan Lane did it so beautifully, and same thing for Sinatra, they did it so differently. I'd like to see someone like Robert Downey Jr. do it, because it would add that sarcastic flair that Nathan already has just in the writing. But it would just pump it up. When I'm not doing theater, I crochet, and I watch a lot of Netflix as well, too. When I'm not doing theater, I am singing show tunes in my car, and <laughs> hanging out with my awesome husband, and working, and going to school. When I'm not doing theater, I bartend um, on the side, kind of full-time. Uh, it's fun. I've been doing it for six years. It keeps me busy. It keeps me on my feet. When I'm not doing theater, I'm doing school. I'm attending Victor Valley College right now, and I'm a full-time student, so the workload definitely keeps me busy. When I'm not doing theater, I am an English teacher and a single mom and I love to go out dancing and read a good book and watch a lot of TV. So. What do I do when I'm not doing theater? Uh, I got a wife at home. We spend uh, all of our time together. I love her to death. Um, other than that, I work and I go to school. That's pretty much my whole life. I'm almost never not doing theater. If I'm, if I'm not shooting pictures and I'm not at work, then I'm pretty much here. When I'm not doing theater, I teach after school enrichment programs, or I teach um, after school chess and theater. And when I'm not doing that, I'm hanging out with my fiance and raising our dog, who is teething now. <laughs> the actor that I, that I think will blow people away in this production is Maddie, the other girl who plays Sarah Brown. Which actor or actress is gonna blow people away in this production? Not just because he's my husband, but Wyatt Hendrickson playing Sky Masterson because he hasn't taken on a role so big before and I just think everyone who's going to come see him is just going to be blown away because he has an awesome voice and he has a cool swab about him that just, it's really, he brings a lot to this character and I think it's awesome. The actress that I think is going to blow people away in Guys and Dolls is Lexi Hendrickson. Um, she happens to be my co-worker as well, which is really cool, but um, I've seen her audition before and she's just amazing and I can't wait just for everyone to see her in full-blown in the show. I think she's going to be amazing. In this production, I think Emma is really going to just blow people away. She brings such purity and innocence to this character and she just really plays the role beautifully and I'm so, so excited to be sharing this role with her. I think Brad 
is going to blow people away. He's playing Harry the Horse and he is hilarious. What uh, actor is going to blow people away? I think definitely um, Adelaide, which happens to be my wife. I laugh so hard every time I watch her do the same thing over and over. I can't stop laughing. She's going to crack everybody up. I have two. Uh, Lexi Hendrickson, she plays Adelaide and she brings so much life and energy to that character and Brian airs as Big Jewel because he has this just big persona on stage that makes you appreciate that character. Besides myself, that's tough now. Uh, no, besides myself, who would blow people away? Um, Zach, who's playing nicely. His song is just awesome and he kills it. The last thing I do before I step out on stage is I try and wish everybody to break a leg and I also run over lines in my head multiple times. The last thing I do before the curtain goes up is kind of just take a deep breath and I kind of like to be alone for the last few moments because I can just feel the nerves kicking in. So I just like tell myself it's going to be okay and honestly I keep my libretto backstage and I go over the scene that's about to come up because I'm just scared that I'm going to forget everything. <laughs> before the curtain goes up, the last thing I do, I'm kind of a goofball. I usually like to just look around at everyone and just make exciting nervous faces like, you know, we're about to go on stage, here it goes, there's no going back, you know, <laughs> so. Before I step out on the stage, I take three deep breaths. And I just do a quick prayer saying, you know, asking God to just calm my nerves and I put this situation into his hands, whether I'm going to mess up or trip on stage or whatever happens, it's just going to happen. That's it. The last thing I do before I step out on stage, um, I say a quick prayer that I don't forget anything, run through lines in my head of course, and I try to get into the headspace of the character. I think about where they were coming from and what it is that they want in the scene. So. The last thing I do before I uh, get on stage or the curtain comes up is I just take a deep breath, try not to let the nerves get to me, and just try to remember what I'm about to do so that I don't forget. My lines are tied to my marks, so I go through all of my marks in my head right before the show starts. What's the last thing I do before I step out on stage or the curtain goes up? Um, I take a deep breath and kind of get in the mindset. Um, Sometimes I like do a little dance or I shake around, it just depends on the character and how like loose or uptight that character needs to be. So for Nathan, when I first enter, he's wound pretty tight, so I'm probably not going to be doing any jumping or dancing. The person who must come and see uh, Guys and Dolls is my best friend Autumn Happy. Who must come see Creative Arts Theater's Guys and Dolls is Alex Hunter. You have to get your butt out here and come see the show. The person who must come see Creative Arts Theater's Guys and Dolls is Kaylee Ibbotson. You better come see the show. Someone who has to come see Creative Arts Theater's production of Guys and Dolls is Maria Avila. If you love me, you will come see the show. The person that must come and see Creative Arts Theater's version of Guys and Dolls is Angela Felt. Angela, you need to take some time for yourself. Uh, Blake and Bryce Ackerman, you have to come to the show, and you have to see me, and you have to applaud a lot. That's easy. Danny Thorne, you absolutely have to come see Guys and Dolls. Somebody by name who must come see Guys and Dolls by Creative Arts Theater. I think Marty Kimball, Marty Kimball should come see this show because he loves these kind of musicals, and we've talked about this musical in particular, and yeah, come see it, or else.